remarks. Um, I'm so very happy uh, to be here. Greetings from the Southeast Bronx. Um, I'm very proud to uh, introduce the next honoree. Um, you know, I'm gonna try to speak the best I can about her in only a minute, but there's so many great things to say about her. Uh, I'm gonna try my best and I hope I'm up to the task. Um, but I'm so proud to introduce this year's Young Elected of the Year for the New York State Young Democrats, Assembly Member Karina Reyes. Um, where do I begin? Uh, the Assemblywoman, I'm so proud to be able to see all of the work that she does each and every single day, fighting for the people and the communities that make up uh, the Bronx. Assembly Member Reyes is somebody who I've been very proud to work with closely um, as her Deputy Chief of Staff for the past two years. And the Assemblywoman, she has done so much in a short amount of time. Uh, when you look at um, passing legislation to protect healthcare whistleblowers for many of our different hospital workers and employees who um, have, were going back into the hospitals and fighting and taking care of people who were suffering from COVID. And we're talking about how hospitals were unprepared um, with PPE materials, with different materials to provide for uh, patients. Assemblywoman Reyes passed the law and she passed that law because she had seen many of her coworkers and her fellow union members with the New York State Nurses Association fighting to be able to tell their stories and to communicate um, about the needs of the patients and the needs of them when it comes to workplace safety. It's hard on so many different people and so many different families. And Assemblywoman Reyes knows this firsthand because back in March, as the COVID pandemic started to unfold, the assemblywoman went back into the hospital to take care of COVID patients in fact, uh, infected with the COVID-19 um, virus. She spent so much time dedicated to taking care of her patients and providing them with adequate care. And, you know, she did all of that without skipping a beat. She did all of that while still attending sessions of the New York State Assembly. She did that while still um, doing food distribution events for her constituents who elected her to represent them and to, to take care of them in these times of need. She did that while still being a mother, a mother to two young boys who are her pride and joy. And that is her, her most important job, she tells to me. So I am so proud and so honored to introduce um, somebody who, who's not just my boss, but somebody who's my friend. She's my sister. Um, and she is the 2020 New York State uh, Young Democrats, Young Elected of the Year, Miss Assemblywoman Karines Rey. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Justin. Um, uh, it's it's such a great honor to have Justin introduce me because I I look up to him actually I I call him a political savant he's one of the youngest um, members to ever serve on our community board he's been so uh, involved in politics uh, not just in the district but throughout the Bronx and New York State um, and he is very accomplished in in his in his short uh, in his very young age so I thank you Justin uh, I'm so proud to to call you my friend uh, and to have you on my team. Um, and I'm super honored that the, the Young Democrats chose me as their Young Elected of the Year. Um, I've gotten a lot of awards the past couple of months for the work that I did um, as a nurse, but I tell everybody I've always been a nurse. Um, and, and arguably, I think when, when young people get elected to office, um, it's very easy to overlook the work um, that we do or that we've done because one we're young and or because I'm a woman or there are a litany of reasons why somebody would overlook um, the qualifications of, of people and and we see that um, with the, the the huge number of young people that have been elected to office that are um, so awe-inspiring uh, to be so young and be so accomplished and I think that uh, our state and our country is, is looking is, is looking brighter because we, we really have young transformative leadership. Um, and that's what it takes. I, I remember the first presidential election that I voted in, um, in, in uh, 2004, I'm, I'm aging myself, I'm dating myself here. Um, and, and that time, um, 
was so monumental for young people to come out to vote. Um, I was a senior in high school uh, during 9-11. Uh, and I remember having to walk home from my high school uh, because the trains weren't running and, and walked from, from Midtown all the way to the Bronx um, and how that influenced how I voted because it was such a, a vivid lived experience um, for me. And, and I think COVID-19 is, is, is doing that now for young people. And it's important that uh, we reach out to them and we activate them to vote because they are uh, really eager to, to make their voices heard on a time like this. Um, and it's important that we elect people who believe in science. It, it's, it's so evident at a time like now that we needed leadership that will listen to the scientists, that listens, um, that is guided by evidence um, and is guided by facts. And if that would have been the case, then perhaps we wouldn't have lost, we wouldn't have lost all the lives that we have um, in this country. And that's really unfortunate. Um, and I think young people see that. And, and it's time that, that we, we really change the leadership of this country. And it's, it's gonna be um, because of that young vote. Uh, we saw that um, in 2018 in my district uh, with the election of Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. She was um, carried to victory by, by newly registered young people who came out to vote for the very first time. Um, and I think we need to galvanize those people um, and it takes and it takes leadership like all of you um, who organize and continue to reach out to the young vote. So thank you again. I'm so honored um, and humbled to be to be your honoree. Um, and I am so proud of the work that young people are doing. And and it is our responsibility to make sure that we create a future for all young people and we create paths for them to to be the future leaders. Um, and for me, that means. Um, opening the door for somebody like Justin in the future to, to take the helm and, and be the leadership of our community. So thank you all. Um, and let's go out to vote.